point clouds for Rhino, professional plane through points and plane analysis. So there's a couple of options here, one's under slices and one's under clipping. So under slices we have the option to create a CSV file. So what I've done is I've created a slice as shown in other videos. Um, it's right here. Um, I've turned on perspective so you can see where that slice is. So I'm happy with that. I'm doing the ground area here, so the base of this pump. I'm going to click the option here, CSV. Ask for a file name, click save, and it is created. So then we have this CSV file that I've loaded. So we have the XYZ positions, the RGB and intensity values if your point cloud has those, ours does, classifications all zero for this cloud. And then we have the distance from either side of the slice through to zero, zero being the center of that slice. So that shows you your positions and then your distances which you can then import into any other application that you may wish to use those. The other option we have here under clipping, which bottom here is, is playing through points. Um, so that's as simple as I've created a slice. I just I reload that. If I just turn this slice off, it's probably more helpful. Um, so then we just, so we're happy with that. I click here, playing through points and it's complete. Now if we go to Names Seaplanes, if you don't have this tab, just right click on the VSIS tab and it's Name Through Seaplanes. Uh, this is explained in a separate video how to uh, get this up, but here we go. So it's created this new seaplane. Uh, this is the one it's created. If I select it, you can see now we have a plane in the middle of that clipping. Um, hopefully you can see that there here okay so that's plane analysis which created the csv file and plane through points